All right, rain coming down out there. It's starting to move on in scattered instead of that line of showers and storms. You know, I'm telling you the past couple of days have been rough. East Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi and then Alabama. And now things are starting to weaken down some, which is what we were thinking would happen as we went on through the overnight tonight. Now this is something we're still watching as we go through the overnight hours, but it's mainly looking like what you're seeing now. Rain that is heavy at times. Once we're getting into these reds and oranges here, it's pouring down pretty, uh, pretty heavily here, and then you'll get some lulls for a little bit. Let's move the map on up. Same thing as we get into our southern counties, a little bit lighter on the extreme southern tier and a thunderstorm outside of Taylor and Macon counties. This is trying to roll toward the northeast. That's the only thunderstorm I can find that's even close by. So far is going to plan that the low end severe threat for us is still in play means something to watch, but most of it is down here in southeast Alabama, eventually into southwest Georgia. There's one severe thunderstorm warning there, and then of course the tornado watch, which continues to get trimmed back from the west. So far, National Weather Service not anticipating adding any more watches toward the east, but again, we will still watch it as we go through. Let's watch as we go forward. This is on into midnight beyond. This is two in the morning, kind of more of the same thing. Most of your thunderstorms, anything that could be a little stronger is probably going to be down in southwest Georgia. There's four or five in the morning starting to get on in toward uh, sunrise and beyond. We're moving this out into the eastern counties and then look at this something we haven't seen except for just little peaks off and on sunshine. Now it's going to be cold, you know, breezy, all that stuff, but at least uh, some sunshine that we haven't seen in a while. Storm outlook for tonight probably could be updated since the storms are mainly here now, but it was a, a high level four for a couple of days here. Now we're in that low end level one. Same thing as we head into the morning hours tomorrow. So it just means something to keep an eye on. As far as tornado potential, again on the scale, as far as more likely going this way, less likely going this way. You don't want to be in that color range there, but that's what they're seeing in southwest Alabama, or southwest Georgia, southeast Alabama in the panhandle. Notice as we go through tonight, two, three in the morning, we're on that extreme low end for something to kind of spin out there. So I think it's possible we could go through the whole night without one warning. Uh, but something still to be watched as we go through time. And the numbers are kind of wild. Check this out. These are the current numbers. The wedge still in place here in North Georgia. Strong one, so really cold air here. But the warm front lifting up through our area continues to warm us up. We were at 51 back at 6 o'clock this afternoon. All right, now let's go over to the model for tonight. This starts us at 62, so it's already running warmer than what reality is showing right now. So we'll take a little bit of this with a grain of salt as we head through the overnight hours. I'm not so sure we're going to hit upper 60s to near 70, but it's definitely getting warmer. But once this front comes on through as we head through the day tomorrow, cold stuff coming in and there is the seven day and it shows all the way to the beginning of winter. Nothing warm and oh man, a lot of sunshine too. Marv, how are you?